You know, on your Tuesday, Bed Bath & Beyond is alive and kicking once again, kind of, sort of. Overstock.com relaunched the Home Goods website today with some of the familiar in-store perks that shoppers are used to. News Nation business contributor and New York Post reporter Lydia Moynihan joins us now. Um, okay, Lydia, I think a lot of people will be interested uh, in what they have to offer. What can people expect from this reboot of Bed Bath & Beyond? It was really a match made in bankruptcy court. Yeah, bank, <laughs> Bed Bath & Beyond went into bankruptcy earlier this year, ceased to exist briefly. Overstock.com, which has been a popular online e-commerce retailer of furniture, Bed Bath & Beyond-like products, bought all of their digital property, um, bought basically the inventory. So you can purchase Ooh. and shop Bed Bath & Beyond uh, goods on overstock.com um, and they are in the style of Bed Bath & Beyond going to try and offer a lot of perks. Initially, if you download the app, you get 25% off your first purchase. So they're definitely reeling in customers with a lot of the coupons, a lot of the perks that Bed Bath & Beyond did originally. Yeah, my local Bed Bath & Beyond just closed down in Dallas and I was stalking those aisles trying to find good deals. I'll be interested to see what they have to offer online. Um, let's switch gears here if we can. Jewel. Uh, is now asking for FDA approval for a device that it claims can verify the age of somebody using its vape product. I mean, how, how does that work? Well, as we've discussed on this program, one of the major criticisms of Juul and a lot of these e-cigarette products is that basically they've ended up targeting children. They've offered bubblegum flavored uh, vapes. And so this product is designed to address a lot of those criticisms. Um, it would require a user to take a photo of their ID, upload it, go through a whole verification process before they're actually allowed to use the product. Now, it's obviously not a perfect product because presumably once somebody owns that device they can share it with others but it's one way that Juul is trying to address a lot of these criticisms a lot of these concerns also important to note um, that it just comes in one flavor nicotine so the cotton candy the strawberry all They're of out. the uh, flavors <laughs> that were targeted yep. at younger people those do not exist anymore so it's still pending approval and Juul obviously has had a host of issues. The FDA has challenged them. They're now appealing that. So their future is very uncertain. It seems like in a lot of ways it hinges particularly on this device and what the FDA decides to do. Okay, and just a couple seconds left. Any chance that gets approved? The FDA has not looked uh, very fondly on Juul at all. Um, this, again, has just been such a, a tricky situation. It's only really reached younger people. It's increased their use of these devices pretty dramatically. Um, so I think it's way too soon to say. Um, but regardless, it seems like no matter what the FDA does, young people still are able yeah. to get these get their hands on these products whether or not they're legal okay we will continue to follow that one lydia always good to see you thanks so much thank you for watching go to newsnationnow.com to find news nation on your television provider and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of news nation's fact-driven unbiased coverage